A couple months back, I released a 50 plus Minecraft 1.14 build ideas with tips and tricks, and it was so much fun. And you guys seem to have liked that video so much, you kept asking me for another one. So today, we're gonna do another one, but we're not doing 50 plus build hacks, build techniques, tips and tricks. No, we're doing 100. 100 of them, I'm gonna show you right now. So get ready, we're gonna do 100 Minecraft 1.14 build hacks and ideas. Let's go. All right, so let's get this started. And if you guys wanna go ahead and check out the previous video, I'm gonna put a link in the description. Go check it out. There are 50 plus Minecraft build hacks and tips in that video. So if you add what we're doing today plus that one, 150, quick math. And the first set of blocks you're gonna be seeing, we're gonna be featuring heavily in this row, the campfire block. This block is so good, it's so versatile. You can use it for so many different things, but I'm gonna show you how to use it for seeding. And we have so many different options. So first things first, First, easiest way to set this up, put your campfire block down, throw a splash potion of water right there, and that's all it takes. And it's directional, so you can put it pretty much in any direction, and it will look just as good. So as far as seats, this is the way you can set these up. And you, there's probably more than these, but I got a good amount going down that row. So step number one, little trap door in the back does so much with just so little look at that now next up a sign throw any color sign in there the oak one i think looks the best but check this out if you mix the two the signs with the trap door you have this look signs on the side trap door in the back that look at that's looking pretty cool then look at this one just trap doors going all the way around simple one single type of trap door but you can mix it up as well over here you can't get any simpler than this. We got a little item frame in the back, and that's also pretty nice. Now, this one, mix all this that we've learned. Put an item frame, signs on the side. This one, so, uh, item frames on the side, sign in the back, or even this one, item frames on the side, trap door in the back. And just by changing one little feature, it looks like a completely different chair. So mixing all these up in the interior or exterior locations in your builds would mix it up and would make it look very, very nice. Now, if you wanna go with a little bit of a couch design, simple as you could do, put them, actually, you know what? I kinda like them this direction. So you could put them this side or you could put it this direction, but I kinda like it that they're going side to side like this. But then you put a little trap door in the back and look at that. Mixing it up, put a sign in the back. Also looks just as good, a little lower to the ground, but a really nice also. This would look really, really good as a park bench as well. Now, this one, if you want a longer couch, a little L right here, Ikea got me inspired. So there you go, you got some signs on the side and to add a little more height to it, you add some trap doors on the bottom and then also trap doors on the back to give you that little back to that seat. And that looks awesome, I love that one. And then this one, if you want it almost like a lawn chair, this is pretty cool if you stack it up uh, a couple forward, trap door in the front so you can put your feet up and then signs in the side to have like a little bit of a handle and that is looking really really nice and then if you have a little trap door in the back you have a nice little seat or you can just lay it down flat uh and um you can just lay down and go to sleep now <laughs> this one is pretty fun but now we're going to a little bit of a higher elevation you want a higher chair that's fine you don't want to sit all the way in the ground that's cool now lift it up with some trap doors all the way around the campfire on the top and some signs to the side. And that is looking great. Now you have um, this, you can actually do one only if you want it low. Oh, this looks almost like a little high chair for a little, a little infant high chair. But if you come to the back, add another one, you get a little bit of a taller chair and that looks great. Now you can also mix and match, try different trap doors. The oak one looks great. Now, I think the best two are the spruce and the oak ones. Now you have some trap doors going up to the side. And if you change them, maybe this are the legs, these are the arms of the chair. You have it of like a little different look to it and that looks cool. Now we're going to this one. We're giving a little more, uh, this one looks a little more fancy. So we're using the Hershey chocolate bar of trap doors on the side. We have the spruce trap door on the bottom to hold that campfire up. And then we have a banner placed up against trap doors to the side. Also a door, looks pretty cool as well. Now this one, this is almost like a bar seat. You can have it just like this, or you can even knock that down with a piston on the bottom. And we have a redstone block there lifting it up. And that is looking really, really nice for a bar or a tavern, I love that chair. Then we have a little, this one's, it's all right. I like this one, but just to make it a little bit different, we have this almost maybe in a Nordic setting or maybe in a Dwarven setting. We have some of this iron right there, some of this uh, anvil action, and that looks pretty nice. 
Now, mixing it here, we have a little bit of a higher bench, and I like this one. So we have trap doors on the side underneath to hold up the campfire, some signs and trap doors in the back. Uh, I love the color variation too with the spruce and the oak. That is really, really nice. But then when we get to this part, now I wanted to make a big swing set, and this is huge, but you can minimize it, you can make it smaller, you can bunch it up. But if you use these right here, these are game changing right here. These look like chains. So if you have these uh, grindstones just stacked one on one side, one on the other, and make sure you shift, shift clicking it, you get to have that varying change in that chain, and that looks so good. Hang it down with some slabs, the campfires in the center with some trap doors, and that is a very, very, very cool swing. But again, it could be condensed. You can make it a little smaller. I just made it pretty big, so you can see how what kind of scale you can use these uh, swings in. That looks nice. And then we're ending it off right here with this cool little... Uh, it's a little throne, it, and it looks like it could be in maybe like a, almost like a Viking town or something. This will be like a little throne you could sit on right here with the campfire block on the bottom. All right, now that we finished playing with all the campfires, let's go into some different room designs. So I wanted to do some of these designs. These are so fun. So this one specifically is just a little living room, and it's really nice. You have a lot of different features that you can use to bring in your world if you're doing some kind of maybe suburban or modern or contemporary style builds. Uh, and I like this. There's so much inspiration just in this one little block right here. So we have table inspiration right here uh sea pickles do so much it looks like a little scented candle over here we got a nice little plant uh and then you can do this by putting a composter we also got a flower pot with a cactus and you use the cactus as almost like the stem and then branching out here with our uh, fences put some bushes around there and it looks like a nice little plant uh this right here the loom sideways gives you this awesome texture just make sure you do put it sideways and it's all directional so you can change it up and this gives you a nice little baseboard and then over here we have a mix of some white stem block and a little bit of white concrete on top with a ceiling fan on the top which is really fun to make all you got to do is place a polished andesite with a hopper facing down a light or lantern hanging down from that which is great and some uh these are the blades for your ceiling fan we got some oak trap doors with some signs surrounding it very very fun design also we got ourselves a nice little bookshelf right here using also the loom sideways that is really nice and then we have ourselves a uh, little a little desk a little writing desk here and you can pretty much use this uh anywhere right here we have some slabs all the way around or we can use the campfire that we just saw across uh and it looks really really nice with some carpet on the bottom now we have ourselves a little writing desk and this is really nice because it has storage on the top so you can use this as storage or you can use it as a bunk bed as well i'm going to show you also another bunk bed design coming up uh we also had a really nice one in the one uh previously of the, uh, the 50 plus minecraft build hacks that we did last time a really nice bunk bed on that one but i got inspired from that one to make this one so we have a nice little trapdoor side here a little sidewall divider right there and then we have ourselves some upside down stairs trapdoors on the top some signs in the front to give you this nice little enclosed feel and a nice little seating area here with uh, some bookshelves and the loom also sideways with a little light right there and that's really cool especially since we have this little way up and then the barrel I love this texture so much you can use this also as a wall divider uh, and a nice little carpet on the bottom too so what do you guys think of this one <laughs> this one's nice I like it now the last tips and trick video I didn't have a bathroom design so here you go you're welcome bathroom design so on this one oh man we got ourselves a nice little pooper right here with some of our smooth quartz going up on one side well up on one side like that and then one way this way with some snow layers on the top we have a nice little a toilet roll right here with some of these uh, banners aka the towel rack <laughs> it looks really really awesome stacked up like that um, and then we have a sink using compost there's a sink with a tripwire hook we have a nice bamboo uh, inside a flower pot and a little bathroom right here a little tub a tub tub uh, maybe next time I'll do a shower but uh, let me know if you guys want to see more bathroom ideas is put a little checkerboard on the floor we have a bathroom mat and yeah it's been a while since in a, uh, a bathroom like this this is fun now from a bathroom to an office i love this you know what this inspiration everywhere we even got wall inspiration if you like you know what take inspiration from the walls over here just to look at it from this direction from the other side it, it looks better because of that um uh, cartography table on the other side it's, it's crossed but <laughs> we also got some wall inspiration we got some uh, ceiling inspiration hold on let me fix this this was broken no actually it's this way 
there we go directional uh but we got ourselves a nice little seat right here a nice high chair with a uh a mic card so you could definitely sit here and do some work okay uh but we also have a lectern here so you can read your books and we also have the uh, cartography table now facing the right way instead of over there we can actually use this it has some papers and compasses a little globe over there uh and the trap doors on the side make it really look um i like it i like it, it makes it look awesome now this office is not only an office it also serves a great purpose um, let me show you you can also come over here and if people are coming you have some home invaders or somebody coming to your base and wanted to take your stuff you can just hide in here and you can just stay underneath here but just make sure you stick your hand inside now we got a nice little shelving unit and I love this one so much a little more modern but it's really nice you have some upside down stairs with some slabs Fence post with a full block, another couple slabs, full block, a couple more slabs, and some more flower pot design tricks. And it's really cool when you have it with a backsplash of just a bark block like that. Now check this one out, some more inspiration, especially the wall. I love that wall, man. Go ahead and take that wall, build something with it. If you guys build anything with it, just send me a picture on Twitter or Discord, I would love to see it. But that wall right there, I gotta use that wall for a build somewhere, but that's not the only thing that looks amazing. Check this out. If you put a N rod with some lovely old turtle eggs on top, you can stack turtle eggs. That's one, two, three, and four. You can even use that as, as a <laughs> decoration, but if you put them on top of one of these lights, of one of these N rods, it actually looks like an actual lamp, and I love it. So good. Now, a lot of people have asked me for a doghouse, and why not just sneak a small little one in here? And this is so good. So check that out. As she closes, opens up, we have a nice little fireplace for the doggy to keep his, him or her feet warm. And then this is really, really cool. It actually inspires me. I really want to build uh, more of these little tiny little dog houses. If you guys want another dog house or kitty cat house or any kind of pet house, let me know down below. Put hashtag pet house. I would will, I will love to make some more. But check this out. You can actually fit in here by sneaking you have to make sure you're sneaking though you have to crawl in here okay you got to lower your head but it fits for a dog right here or a kitty cat whatever pet you want to put you can put a parrot in here if you want to or a rabbit whatever but we have a feeding tray we have a watering tray we have a little cooking spot over here uh to keep their feet toasty and nice got some carpet and some wool on the floor i love this dog house though man oh look at that that's cool now right here we got a kitchen design and i love this kitchen design so much look at check this out so one of the things that stand out the most is right here we have campfires hidden underneath there and that's going over the blast furnace you can do it over the smoker up here we have ourselves almost like a little exhaust little microwave area over here we have some barrels and some looms shelves and uh, cabinets back here this one actually steals the show i think because we have ourselves a, a farm block right there with some carrots on the top and then actually looks like you have vegetables just laying on the cabinet on top of the, uh, on top right here ready to get chopped up or something and that looks really really cool uh over here here by adding this detail uh, I did it to more than one even though we don't have it on um, well the farmland on all of these I put it on every other one down here just so it doesn't stand out too much if we do cover up one of these because you don't want to see that dirt but it looks really really cool have ourselves a nice little island over here with more cabinets we have our water uh, source right here so our sink is gonna be here with a little tap and some plates on the top which I love so much this looks great what do you guys think all right now let's get into some dining room designs and this one is so fun to make this one actually might fit a theme maybe a Victorian or uh, gothic looking maybe you can even sneak this into a medieval look but I love that especially using this terracotta up here the uh, black glazed terracotta now this looks really really nice especially if this is what really makes it pop campfires on the top surrounded by trapdoors and i love the jungle trapdoor because it has that open look so you can see the flames because if you put another trapdoor uh most of them don't have this open look i think the only other one that has it that you can see through is the acacia but that one doesn't really fit this theme but this one certainly does now down here we have our barrels as our legs to the table right here then we have ourselves some trap doors all the way around gold pressure plates as fancy dinnerware some cakes in the front some seed pickles on the side for added detail and then but this is just hanging down and you're gonna see this theme when we get to the lighting section I can't wait to show you the lighting section now check out this bed design I love it I love it so down here in the bottom section we have ourselves a nice little shelf here with a, uh, a desk a writing desk but then over here here we have a nice way up with a trap door on the side it looks so cool when you get up to the top you have a double bed on the top you can also make it into a single bed 
but I kind of like you know a little bit of a bigger bed. Uh, so you have more space to, to 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 move around and stuff. Plus, if you have a friend over, you can sleep. You can do a little sleepover. But it looks cool, especially here since we have some extra cabinets here, and it also works as a way to keep up the bed. So we have these lovely barrels and this divider. We're gonna get to this divider later on uh, down the line, but I love that style. What do you guys think of this one? Is this cool? Now this one, I got some inspiration because I'm thinking about building a Fallout style vault and this is actually inspiring me. So if you guys wanna see a Fallout like vault, put hashtag Fallout. Let me know down below if you guys would be hyped to see something like that. So I'm using this as actually inspiration. So we got these little tracks on the top. You're using these grindstones as almost like the track wheels and think of this as like an elevated platform that goes from one side to the next. This is really, really fun. We're also using some of the blast furnaces. Some of them with the open grate kind of looks like um, almost like an air conditioning duct, but if you turn them on its side, it actually has a really nice texture. Over here, we have some pipes coming in and out from the same turned out blast furnace. And we're using the blast furnace on the side as well for extra texture. Uh, on the grounds here with the tops of the blast furnace, if you look at it, it's really amazing because they are directional. So we have one direction going, you see this way, and then this goes that way. On the floor, if you change it up, maybe have this one going that direction, and then these flips to the side. We have a nice little floor texture as well. And we're using the smithing table to give you that iron look. So man, I really want to do a fallout vault now, looking at this. Now this next section you're about to see is nothing but wall dividers. And these are so fun to make, especially if you have like an open uh, floor plan in a house. You can use def different ways to do wall divisions. You can pretty much separate one room from another one with just putting just fences. You can use any color fence. This is one. Another one would be to put bamboo. And for bamboo, you don't even need water. So you can pretty much just stack this up and then maybe using either bushes or trapdoors or slabs at the top to cap it off. Or just let it go all the way to roof height or ceiling height. So that could be the, the stoppage point so it doesn't grow crazy. Or how about going old school, doing some sugar cane. And this one is so easy to do. All you got to do is waterlog some slabs down here. It covers it up and you can have yourself some sugar cane as a wall divider. Now this wall divider, we've been seeing it down that row and this is super easy to make just trap doors going up stack them and maybe have a little bit of a texture change by putting some of the oak one on top of the spruce and that is an easy wall divider to do now this was more expensive but it looks amazing if you stack all this up a bunch of anvils all the way up like this in a small scale because it's going to be very expensive to do but if you have a really op iron farm this would look really really nice now this one right here, this was inspiration. You have some of the hoppers on one side, you have some of the grindstones and a chain pattern going up and down like this. This looks really, really cool. Also, you can mix and match with anvils instead of the hoppers, and that also would look really, really nice, especially in like a medieval or fantasy setting. That looks cool. Now this one right here, I love it. Just fence gates, fences, and some bush. This would probably look really, really nice in an outdoor setting, maybe to separate a section between maybe like a pool and a park area or something like that. But this one, oh man, indoors, you can also pull it off. Now this next one, it looks like a broken down library, and I love this one. This could work really well for a wall divider. We have some looms, sideways for empty shelves. We have our bookshelves. We have some barrels, some lanterns, flower pots, and this just looks awesome, especially there give you that broken feel oh, in a rundown uh, shack or something like that. This looks awesome. And this last one right here, this is a very broken up wall and this is super simple to make. You can do this pretty much any situation and it'll look like almost like a ruin. Like you can put this indoor, you can do this outdoor. I love this one so much. Super simple to make too. Just do a lot of block variation with cobble, with stone, with stone brick, slabs, stairs, and our iron bars. And it's so easy to make, but I love this one so much. Now this whole next section is dedicated to plants and flowers and how to use them to decorate in your house, in your builds, and it's so much fun. And also, if you're noticing that the bushes look a little bit bushier, it's just because we're using our boy Jermsey Boys add-on, and it's amazing. It's the best, and you know what? That's it. We're not using any texture packs, just in case you guys ask. No, this is all default. We're just using this for our bushes. But starting over here on the side, we're using composters as our flower pot, and it looks great. All you gotta do is just feed it either leaves or any kind of vegetation, at least up to here. This is a good way to go, but if you wanna go a little 
little higher. There, stop there. If you click it again, it turns into bone meal. So don't go too far. On top, we just have some regular bushes on that. If you want to get a little more creative, you put some flower pots and look at all these options right here. If you put a flower pot, this, uh, the dead bush, it looks so great, especially the color contrast. It makes a very nice um, branch or stem or bark to that uh, tree or to that plant. On top of that, you're going to put a little bush. You can also use either a bamboo. Uh, fern looks great and also the cactus these are the game changers right there put a little bush on top and it looks great if you want to go ahead and go old school just get a fence put a fence and then put a bush on top or you could just put a piece of grass on top and put some trapdoor surrounding it and put a bush on top of that and that also does the trick now these next ones are so fun right here we're going with some scaffold on the bottom just to have a little uh, holder for your plant uh, right here in the middle we're gonna have a uh, piece of grass you can either use coarse dirt or you can actually use podzo which looks really really cool bush on top this one we have some uh, grass with some sea pickles that also looks pretty good this one we have grass with a bamboo we chopped it up so you didn't get the, the you know the, the growth on top and we put a bush on top of that one this one has the dead bush also, but on top of this area right here with some coarse dirt because you can't put dead bush on any one of these. Like if you try to put dead bush on this, it won't work, but you're going to need either podzo or coarse dirt for that one. So uh, let's put our bamboo back. Um, just make sure it grows <laughs> later. Now this one really simple. All it is trap doors in front of our berry bush. Just make sure you don't hit it again. If not, it'll turn to that, but eventually it'll grow or you can actually put a, uh, a tall, uh, tall flower, any kind of tall flower to work. Now this was another option. We got some hoppers on the bottom, trap doors surrounding our grass blocks with the berry bushes on top. The cauldron works great as well. So you can put a flower pot on top with any kind of flower or fern or Saplings look great as well. You can use the cauldron to hold any one of your bushes up. And then also you can use the anvil to hold any one of your bushes up. Again, it's, it's expensive, but it looks great. If you have an iron farm, go ahead and try that. Now, hanging plants are next level stuff. This adds so much, especially if you put them on the side of a house, but really easy way to set one up. You could put like any kind of upside down stairs, a couple trap doors, a hopper with a iron bar on top using the berry bush looks so great because if you notice it goes pretty much right to the level of that iron bar so there's not really a lot of separation hanging this from a bunch of trapdoors surrounding a, uh, a grass block or a dirt block and then a trapdoor on the bottom you can also do it with our regular bushes and then you can also do it with a sapling now this sapling is probably the best one to do it with is the jungle sapling because it's a little bit taller but then also instead of using the iron bar you can use a piece of glass any kind of dark glass looks really really good like this one black glass connecting to that hopper looks great surrounding with the trap doors also does the trick now i love this next section starting over here we have a little inspiration for what we did in the front i love the note block too on the bottom it kind of almost looks like a little wicker basket and then we have ourselves our patented uh flower pot with our cactus on top which kind of looks like the uh the beginnings of that plant little branch out here with some fences and on the top if you notice it kind of looks like little fledgling plant life just growing out of the branches uh by having this over here by the flower pots with the fern and the sapling it looks pretty nice now this will go on a little more simpler we just have a fence with the same technique here with a flower pot and cactus and some bushes on top this one is an armor stand with some bushes on top armor stand kind of looks like the bottom of the tree especially from this angle looks really really nice uh, then this time we're, we're combining some things here we're bringing in the composter with the flower pot the bamboo on top of that and then the branch is going up with the bushes on top of that and then here we have almost like uh you can see this almost like outside i could definitely see this outside in a flower garden it's almost like a little lift that we have here almost like a, a wheeled cart and that looks really really cool so we have our uh, grindstone facing upwards and the campfires around there surrounding it with some of the trapdoors underneath on top of that we got the bushes and we put some seed pickles on top of those bushes and they make it stand out a little more it actually looks like it's part of that bush i love this one though it's like a little wheeled cart and then if you want a single one, pretty simple, just a little wheel on the bottom with a bush on top. And that's looking really, really cool. 
Now this next section, I could totally see this indoor or outdoor. More outdoor for this one. It's almost like a big vine wall. Uh, and this is really, really simple to make. All you gotta do is put some bushes up against the wall, some fences, some ladders, a little bit of vine, and it just stands out so much. Especially when you have a side of a house that you wanna add some more details to, this does so much. Now, these over here, this could be indoor or outdoor. I could see it anywhere, but it's just campfires on the bottom, trap doors on the sides, signs, uh, on next to the tr uh, the actual uh, campfires and then we have bushes on top it doesn't really connect but by having those signs kind of gives you that feeling that it is holding it up and then we have two versions either a small one or a big one if you have it kind of stacked up like this in this angle on a wall it's gonna look really really nice now this one it's also some hanging uh, ferns or hanging bushes you can see this outside or even inside but I can see this more like an outdoor thing uh, you have almost like a, um, a row of trap doors with our grindstones facing upward and some bushes just hanging down from that. And this section, we're going into some lighting. So we got a lot of hanging lights, and I love these. These are so nice. And guess what? We got wall inspiration. So there you go. I love that wall in the background, too. Now, this is super simple. All of this is fixed on our hoppers, hoppers on the top. So we can have different ways of hanging our lanterns for 114. You can either hang it from an iron bar, you can hang it from a glass pane, you can hang it from a fence a wall or another wall and combine it maybe with iron bars like that or you could combine all of these if you want you can put a wall a fence uh, a glass iron and then hang the light and you get that little chain and either way hanging them is so so nice especially if you put in this indoors you can even do this outside as well now i'll show you some outdoor lights coming up but let's do some more hanging light inspiration now starting from this side so not only can you do it with hoppers but you can do it with anvil so if, again op iron farm i won't recommend it if you are very low on iron but anvils on the top hopper with the lantern hanging from that, mixing some of this up. You could do the same thing, but then surround it in some signs. It actually looks really, really nice. Also, if you hang it with some iron on top and go a little lower, you have a more, more, elevate, more of a hang down light. But then if you wanted to get back into what we saw a little earlier, like a little ceiling fan, you could do it also by doing this, but then adding some of the glass paint, hanging that light, surrounding that in signs, trap doors on the top, and that does so much. Now, if you wanted to change it, if you, you, know, you don't want a ceiling fan, right? But you want that design, you could do this. You could put the anvil, hopper, we got a trapdoor with trapdoor surrounding it. Just make sure the trapdoor is above and we're hanging that lantern from that. I do believe this is only Java. If my bedrock friends could confirm, I don't think you can do this on bedrock yet. But remember, just in case that one day you do, this is how you do it. Now, this one is also a pretty nice one. We got the anvil, hopper, hanging light with a trapdoor underneath and then signs surrounding that. That's another way you could do it or really, really simple. Just a light right inside and some trap doors surrounding it and you can see it from the bottom and that's a really nice light fixture. Now we're getting a little fancier, all right? This is more for like a Victorian Gothic looking or maybe even a, a fantasy steampunk even with this. You got some anvils on the top, hoppers on the side in a row with the lights hanging down from that and I love that. That is a nice little one here. But now if you wanna get a little fancier, interchange it, change up the wall with the fence and then the wall again and they do not connect now this design looks really really nice as well we have our fences fence gates we have our hoppers hanging then we have a lantern on one fence lantern and then another lantern there and it looks great like this it gives you a nice little falling look right there it will look nice as a really cool chandelier but we'll get to some more real high classy chandeliers in a second now this one it's a little more futuristic of anything even though you have like old school lantern but that end rod looks too uh high tech to me but either way it looks really nice if you stack them put two end rods going down with a lantern underneath and then now we're in hogwarts so this one if you have optifine like i do it actually does your connected textures with your glass panes if you notice there's a glass pane right here going all the way down but it's kind of you can only see the ends, right? So if you stand back, does that look like you're, you're in Hogwarts right here? Yeah, we don't have candles, but we can do floating lanterns like that. And that is so nice. I gotta use this somewhere for sure. Now this section screams medieval Nordic and it looks so good, Viking, but check this out. So we have this one we saw earlier already. So we do have the hopper. We have the grindstone with the campfire in the bottom, right? Then you have this 
chain going all the way down, hanging. This could be dwarven too, right? We have a little lantern hanging from that chain. Then this one, we're interchanging them. We're putting uh, the like a mix of the two. So if you notice, it's almost like a chain going all the way down, but then we have our campfires in between. This one, anvil, hopper, iron bar. Then we're hanging that a little lower, so a little bit of the same, but just mixing in concepts together. And then we have this one. Oh man, I love this one. So campfire, double campfire, hanging down, have the smoke particles and the chain going down on that one. Now we're on to the chandeliers and going with a simple one right here, just a, a little four piece going all the way around here with our lanterns hanging down from our fences and our walls. This one just has the walls and the little T plus shape with our lovely grindstones hanging down, lanterns hanging from those. This one has a mix of all of that. So we have our grindstones on the top, our fences on top of that with the hanging lights underneath this one. And then this goes to a more basic style with just our hopper, our iron, and then our lanterns hanging from that. And you can use this inspiration. You could definitely add more takeaway and mix and match all the different styles we've seen so far. And last but not least, we have these outside lights. So now bringing in what we've been learning so far, we got the grindstone with the light on top of that, trap doors on the top, and then we have our fences going up on this one. This one's all with wall, hopper, and then we're adding our light to that. This one has the same technique, but then adding our walls, fences, trap doors, and a hanging light right here with an iron bar. And then here we have ourselves a wall, fence, hopper with signs around, trap door on top with our lantern. And last but not least, we're going with a little more Victorian or steampunky look. We got full blocks, walls with a combination of wall on top with our anvil, hopper, and lantern on the bottom right there. And there it is, all done. 100 Minecraft build ideas, tips, and tricks. I love making these videos so much for you guys. You don't understand, this is one of my favorite things to do, just little inspirational videos. You guys can take some of this and just put it in your world, and if you do, add any of these to your world. Send me pictures, either on Twitter, Discord, Instagram, wherever you want. I love seeing my builds in your world, and if you do any tweaks and all that, you guys inspire me every day, so send me pictures also out of all the ones you saw right here right now which one was your favorite let me know down in the comment section and let me know what kind of builds or tutorials or showcase videos you would like to see upcoming but i'm out of here for now thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you on the next minecraft video goodbye Yeah, yeah, yeah.